Hello, Libra. And welcome to your reading. Libra, let's have a look to see the messages that you need to know at this present moment in time. The first card that is coming up for you, you are receiving the energies of the High Priestess. Libra, the Divine is saying that you are highly intuitive. Pay attention because the Divine is saying to you that a lot of information is going to be given to you in your dreams. So it is going to be important for you to keep a dream journal by your bed. So that when you wake up in the morning, before you start scrolling, you write anything that you remember down. And as you do that, do that for about a month and you're going to be seeing the message that your guides and your ancestors is trying to get to you. The divine is saying that your guides and your guardian angels have some important information and they are going to be coming to you through your dreams. The next card that we have for you, you're receiving the energies of the seven of pentacles. The divine is saying to you that your money is going to be growing. There are going to be some blessings that are going to be coming in, connected to your money, connected to your resources. But it is important for you to understand that your attention is going to be needed. So go and educate yourself financially. Go and do the thing that brings these blessings because the divine is saying that for some of you, you are spending way too much. What about the savings? Look after the pennies and the pennies will look after themselves. Look after your money, please. Start budgeting. Start asking yourself the hard questions. Start canceling those subscriptions that you are not even using and you are just wasting your money. Okay, so next message that we have. Wow. Wow. We see you here with the energies of the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is the card that tells you that your ships are coming in. Your blessings are coming in. You have shown the divine that you are willing to listen. And you could go and do your budgeting. You go and look at your spending and you make some adjustments. And the divine sees that you're serious about your finances and what you want to start growing in 2024 you're serious about all the stuff that you're saying you want to manifest so the divine is saying well because you are serious your blessings are going to be coming in the three of wands is about climbing the ladder the three of wands is about shifting your situation in a positive way the number threes are about creativity and the wands are about passion, fire, drive. So there is going to be something that is coming in that is going to make you feel a life that is going to light the way. So it is important for you to be creative, to do the things that lift up your spirits, go and dance, sing like no one is listening. Just be creative, paint. It doesn't have to be good, but just the action itself is the portal that allows the shift to manifest itself in your life. Okay, let's have a look to see at the bottom of the deck what the divine is wanting to bring to your attention. There you go. What did I tell you? I told you that you have incoming blessings that I hear. All right, let's put these cards to one side. And the Nine of Cups is coming in and confirming exactly what I already told you. Your wishes are coming true. Look at the joy that is here where you're bursting with so much gratitude. Because again, you took the time to look at where you are wasting your money and where you can do better. That vibration of just changing something like that shifts something in the universe so that the divine starts to see that you are ready to be trusted with more resources, with more money, with more gold, more silver, more abundance. But if what you have right now, you are just wasting, why would the divine bless you with more? That's a question I'm being asked to ask you. Those gym prescriptions that you don't really use, if you still go to the gym, but you know that there's a better deal out there, do something better. Save the money. At the beginning, it's about training your brain to have a capacity to look after what it is that you have and grow it. 
and they run when they see that the capacity that you have has grown, then more is given to you. It is like having a glass and you have a whole liter of blessings of water that you're wanting to pour into that jar. What do you do? Well, you just pour to the capacity of the glass because what is the purpose of pouring a whole liter and just wash and just watch rather everything just wash away and get wasted. So the divine is saying equally for you is the same. You have a glass. Okay, now it's time to go and focus, to go and pray, to go and learn so that the capacity, your mental capacity, your subconscious capacity when it comes to money starts to expand. So now the glass that you have is now a liter bottle and the divine gives you some more. And the divine goes and gets five liters and waits for you to grow, to shift, to expand again so that more blessings are given. Otherwise, blessings can become a curse. I am being told to tell you that blessings can become a curse. It is like, for instance, the thousands of people around the world who won millions of dollars, millions on the lottery. And the statistic says that within 10 years, the majority, not the minority, the majority of the people who won the lottery are in worse of situations than before. This is because their capacity could not accommodate the blessing that was poured onto them. Are you understanding what the divine is trying to tell you? If you are, I want you to comment in the comment section, the money emoji, so that you show the divine that you are going to go and be proactive to look at where you are wasting your money, your resources, your health, your vitality. And then you will see that your ships will come in, your blessings will come in, and more, much, much more. So this is the reading that I have for you. Again, if you need your own personal reading done, go in the description box below, reserve your space. Okay? And then I'll be more than happy to work with you for the candle magic ceremony, for the solstice, that powerful day where we are saying our prayers and doing our ritual. You are invited, of course, and if you're wanting to be part of that, go and reserve your space because spaces do get sold out. And then remember to write your petition about what it is that you are wanting to bring into your life. On that note, I'm going to see you in my next reading and it is a goodbye from me.